Is it better to be naturally infected than artificially infected through a vaccine? I think that both natural infection and immunization often offer you know, lifelong protection against disease. The difference between the two is the price that one pays for natural infection. I mean, for example, before the, the measles vaccine, um, almost all children in this country got measles. And, and when they got measles, most survived the infection. And when they survived the infection, they had immunity that would protect them against measles for the rest of their life. But every year before, before vaccination, about 100,000 children would be hospitalized and, and several thousand children would die from measles. And obviously, I mean, hospitals is a, is a very high price to pay for immunity when you can get essentially the same immunity without having to pay a price at all through, through vaccination. Let's take a specific example. There's a bacteria called pneumococcus, which commonly infects infants and young children. I had my children vaccinated. With every vaccine they were supposed to get, I thought they were protected. I had no idea that meningitis could destroy my entire life. Carla Newby's son, Jacob, died from meningitis when he was six years old. One month later, she joined the Meningitis Foundation of America and is now its executive director. It was six months after Jacob died that um, there was a vaccine that was available that was going to protect children against pneumococcal meningitis. My personal mission is to eliminate meningitis. I want to work myself out of the job. Now many people can say that or would say that, but that's my goal. I want to eliminate it and I won't stop till it is. I want my son to be able to look down and say, good job, mom, I'm proud of you, you're doing something. So he keeps, he keeps me going and keeps me doing it. Every year, pneumococcus causes about 1,400 cases of meningitis, about 17,000 cases of bloodstream infections, and about 70,000 cases of pneumonia in children less than five years of age. So what can we do to prevent this? Well, the, the pneumococcal vaccine is given uh, as a shot at two months, four months, six months, and again at 12 to 15 months of age, so the children can get the antibodies that they need to protect them against this, this serious and occasionally fatal infection.